And now we will continue with some special modes, which I showed you before. And this is, first of all, the candlestick mode. So let me go to candlestick. Um, there is a teaching that there are many different formations in uh, candlestick charts, which you can react upon. And in the Fibber Trader, we have a very extensive library of these formations. And they are simply indicators. So when you right click, on the main value and you add an indicator, you can go to the candlesticks folder and you either add all candlestick patterns, which is like a summary of all of them, or you add individual items like the hammer, the harami, hanging man. Let's continue with all the candlestick patterns because um, I can explain it pretty good from there. So. One thing to know is there are many, many signals now created and some are not shown because we have duplicates hidden. So let's deactivate this and then we see also special symbols right now. So we have trend reversal icons, we have uptrend signals and we have downtrend signals. So these are special signal types which are also supported. and. If you take a look at these for a second, um, you see here's a bullish engulfing. You see in the info text what type of signal was detected. Then you have a doji, you have a harami, you have three crows. So all of those are supported in the Fibber Trader. You can, in the formation, you just like all or you can have individual ones only visible. So let's see if we have a hammer somewhere. No, we don't. Do we have a hanging man update? No, we don't. But we had bullish engulfings, we know. So these are all the bullish engulfing it found. And it will also allow you to have, uh, to include trend detection. So some only appear in up or downtrend um, areas. So this is a very powerful formation detection, which you can uh, rely on here. The same is true for point and figure indicators. So when you change from candlestick to point and figure, and let's say we decrease the box size, so we have some more boxes here where we can actually see more details, okay? And now when we add an indicator and we go to the point and figure folder, we have pretty much the same as we had with the candlesticks, but here we now we have point and figure values. And as you can see, um, a lot of them are detected. So it is the typical double top. You have the triple bottom, so it's one column, one column, and then there's a column which breaks through. It's called triple bottom. You have descending triple bottom and a, a three in a row which are um, declining. So they are all available at your fingertips. Um, have fun. We also have some information in our help file, which could uh, shed some light on some of the, on the concepts I just showed, um, especially for the candlesticks. If we open the manual and then uh, we go to the charts, the chart analysis and then we have candlestick formations here and point and figure formations here. So these are all the ones which are currently supported point and figure formations which can be detected and same for uh, candlestick formations. But here we have the special case that we explain all of them. So when you have a candlestick you get pictures of what they actually mean. And this is only available in German, but you can take a look at the pictures and it should be pretty clear of what, what the intention is.